Okay, welcome back. This is the lesson on prime factorization. So before we begin, let's go over some terms. Prime and composite. Prime number we know is a number that has no factors besides one and itself. So, for example, the number five. Five only has the terms or factors one and itself, so that is considered a prime number. A composite number is a number that has more factors than one and itself. So for example, the number 10. 10 is a composite number because we know that the number two is a factor of 10 and uh, five is a factor of 10. So 10 would be considered a composite number. So a factor then would be all the parts, all the number parts that go into a number, a given number. So if we have, again, 10, the factors would be 1, 2, 5, and 10. These, would, these are all considered factors of the number 10. Product. Product is a number where we multiply numbers together. So the product of 2 and 5 is 10. So product, we just multiply the numbers together. So the method in solving prime factorization is called the factor tree. Now the factor tree, we all know what a tree looks like, is going to branch out into a bunch of factors and uh, more specifically prime factors, which is why it's called prime factorization. So let's start off with the number 10. I want to break this up into factor pairs. So say five and two. Now once I have a prime number, I want you to circle it. So we know five is a prime number. We know two is a prime number. Now once all the numbers are circled, we know that we have only prime numbers, and then we are done. So now all we have to do is write off the answer. So 10, the prime factorization of 10 would be 5 times 2. Now another example, 24. Now 24 has a few different factor pairs. So you can choose whichever one, okay? So let's go with six and four. Now six and four, we know that both are not prime numbers. They're composite numbers. So we have to break them up even further. So I'm gonna branch it out again. And six is gonna break up in two, three and two. This is a prime number, I'm gonna circle it. This is a prime number, okay? And then four, I'm gonna break up into two and two. So a prime number, circle this and that. Now, I all I have left are prime numbers. So the prime factorization of 24 would be three times two times two times two. Now, since I have the same numbers here, I can write this in scientific notation. So this can be also 3 times 2 to the third power because I have two threes. I'm sorry, three twos. <laughs> so here's an example. If you can, I want you to pause the video and I want you to try this problem on your own. So. Let's go over this now, 50. I'm gonna break this up into a factor pair. Let's say five and 10. Now five is a prime number, so circle that one. And then 10, I'm gonna break this up even further to two and five. I end up circling those. So 50 becomes 5 times 5 times 2, or I can write it as 5 squared times 
two. So here's another example of 15. 15, I can only break it up into 5 and 3, and they're both prime numbers. So this was an easy one. So 15 becomes 5 and 3. Let's do a couple more examples. The number 12, comes 4 and 3, and you can also do 6 and 2. It's still, you're still going to get the same answer. So 3 is a prime number, I'm going to circle that one, and then 4 becomes 2 and 2. I circle those, I have nothing else left, so the prime factorization of 12 is 2 squared times 3. <clears throat> okay, one more example, 36. <clears throat> 36, again you have a couple different options, so let's go with 6 and 6. 6, I can break up in 2, 3 and 2, I'm going to circle those, and then this 6 also to 3 and 2. So 36 becomes 3 times 3 times 2 times 2. So this is the same thing as 3 squared times 2 squared. And that is it for prime factorization.